Okay. I'm sorry you heard us being like kind of rowdy. Oh my God, no, absolutely not. I love the fact that I, you know, heard you from a personal view and uh, it's, it's good to see you happy. Oh, thanks. Um, and I heard you guys swearing a little bit. Oh, really? <laughs> we're, we're kind of, we're a silly bunch. There's a lot of that that goes on. Can I ask you something personal? What's sure. your favorite curse word? Um, <laughs> fuck. Isn't it? It packs a punch. It's awesome. You can use it for everything, right? Yeah, and especially comedic, you know, comedically, it's very uh -huh. effective as well. Yeah, it, I don't like to use it in like an angry way. I like to use it in like a comedic way. It really packs a punch, I believe. You really. <laughs> Those people root for me. Yeah, hence the fact that I got the star in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Have your kids seen any of your films? They've seen uh, moderate pieces of like uh, the the Disney football movie that I did. Okay. And the other guys. Although my son did see a piece of Transformers, which I okay. didn't Have know. Have you finished Transformers? No, we haven't shot it yet. But oh. he's watched the ones that are the the ones that have preceded our movie, and. You know, they're playing football, we're playing football in our theater, and my youngest son, who's four years old, throws the football down and he goes, fucking shit! <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, the same thing, I start laughing at first because he, he, he got stripped of the ball, he just got stopped for the touchdown, so it was like, wow, it made sense what he said, but I was like, why did you say that? Get over here, I want to wash your mouth out with soap, and he kind of like wants to smile. Because he knows I, he really made Daddy proud. But uh, <laughs> I said, you get over here and tell me why you said that. Where did you hear that from? And he looks at me and goes, Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how was we it, pay the bill. A... <laughs> Something tram lines. Still, could be worse. Oh, now we're only on the tram tracks. I'm on the tram tracks. Right now with his promoter, Alex, thanks for joining us, both of you. I'll start with yourself. Uh, many are wondering, how did that happen, this meeting with, with the mayor? I have no idea. It's, it's my fault to get <laughs> No, at the end of the day, he is the mayor of the city, Mike Tyson is here to promote the first ever performance in Canada and when I had Sugar Ray Leonard come to Montreal to launch the book we went to the mayor's office we're here it's an habit we go see the mayor and this is the first time probably in the history of Toronto where the mayor is bigger than the whole the whole city you know he's the biggest celebrity than anybody in the city everybody wants to see the mayor and um, he's a really uh, dynamic character Right, so did you, you read up on him, you sort of would follow no, him? No, I didn't read up on him, I watched him on television. Right. In the States, yeah. In the yeah. States, and, you know, he's a big, I mean, the big hit in the States, a big hit. Now, well, some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor, we know you're a convicted rapist, this could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that, you don't even know who said that, you know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that, you know, because it's negative, and you're being negative, and... I, I, met, I met the mayor, right. and nothing they can do about it. We actually had a really good time. We, we, we talked about George Trevallo, who was a legend in your city, great man, with whom Mike spent quite a bit of time yesterday talking about his life, you know, highs and lows. It's so interesting, because you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. That's no, that was a piece of, fuck you, that was a piece of shit. You know, we're, we're, doing, we're doing live TV. Hey, I don't care, what are you going to do about it? All right, you got, a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, a lot of people we are. are where it comes there. raw, and it's the real truth. Yeah, a lot of people the be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, it's a, you know, it speaks for itself. Everyone saw the show. All right. It's a Broadway production. It went to Vegas. It went to actually 28 cities in the United States. And we're really, really proud to bring it here. And we're actually going to Monaco on October 9th. We're going to be in Monte Carlo. Right. Is it nerve-wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve-wracking for me to hear talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. Oh, come on, Mike. No, because you're a piece of shit. All right, we're gonna we're, 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 we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap, wrap up this interview. Thank you. Um, how did it feel changing my hair? And um, what did you do? You said you said I was sticking it to the baby. How about your hair? Um, here's the thing. Thank you.
can suck it. My hair is a is a pain. I um I wore it differently last night, and I felt so out of my element. And thank you. I appreciate that. But also, this is kind of who I am, and it's how I'm comfortable. Yeah, and since I'm 14 years old, I've always felt comfortable with my hair down. to these people, and quite frankly, I'm over it. So, know who you are, and wear whatever the hell you want. Be your hair however the hell you want, and if anybody tries to tell you differently, they can, you know. Your first victory since the 2009 Belgian Grand Prix. Tell us about your emotions at this time. Not much, really. Uh... <laughs> the people want to know how amazing it is to win a Grand Prix. Deep, delve deep, tell us. Well, I guess, uh, last time, my bicycle was giving me shit because I didn't really smile enough. So Maybe this time again, but I mean, I'm very happy for the team and uh, for myself, but mainly for the team. Uh... Do you now feel that you've got your hands on one side of the cup for a third world title? Um, I think it's still two races to go, so uh, obviously we see how quickly things can change. Yesterday was a surprise for us, I think. Would we have started from third, it would have been a different race, but um, yeah, it was obviously a, a chance to fuck it up, and uh, we didn't do that, so I think we can be very proud today. We got the maximum, um, lost only a lap, very, very little bit. I think we have the momentum still, the car is bloody quick, so looking forward to the, the next two races. Since you're a superstar and everything? It's not about being a superstar, it's about being a human being. Cool. You know, and I really appreciate that. I mean, uh, one of these guys here was saying like some bullshit earlier, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. supposed to respect doctors. Now you gotta respect yeah, human yeah, yeah. beings, it's all good. Talking. Yeah, you know, it's just like yeah, yeah, my yeah. family is growing up. You think yeah. about this, if you had a daughter, yes. and you guys say like crazy shit to me all the time, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. say it to my family, you ask about this. I couldn't imagine like my daughter being like four years old, you know, and you guys screaming at him. Like, I think somebody screamed at Tom Cruise's daughter or something like that. It's like, you know, like, I, I mean, I'm dealing with the guy set me up at the airport the other day. You know, he was fucking laughing yeah, yeah, yeah. and shit. And like, he came, like, what I didn't get to say on Jimmy Kimmel, that's the day I found out that my grandfather was not gonna make it. He passed oh, two wow. weeks later. But when I'm coming out the airport, because, you know, it's Kanye, whatever, we're gonna f with him. We're gonna antagonize him. I tried to stop his camera and stuff. He fell down, faked it. Then people That's were talking about, oh, yo, why'd you hit that guy? Obviously, he didn't hit the guy. Yeah. But, you know, I'm going through shit. I'm trying to have a business call, blah, blah, blah. I know you guys are gonna photograph me. I know it makes a cool photo. I got a cool ass car and shit. You know, I like, I got a dope ass outfit on. It's all good and shit. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, I mean, it, just. We, we, we're in this together. You guys yes. help me influence. Yes. You help yes. with the yes. family. Yes. Yes. You help Kim's power and yes. everything. Yes. So I'm not trying to fucking be at you guys in any type of negative way. I don't want you guys to be a negative with me. And I, I would prefer, and, you know, that we just have a, like a, you know, decent yes. relationship. One, one you know? thing, we're not here to antagonize you or nothing. We're just yeah. respect you, you know? Are you respect gonna fight you. the Appreciate case okay, against cool. that paparazzi guy? Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about that. Okay, so. cool. When do we get to meet your daughter? When do we get to see her? I, 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 uh, 
you, you, you guys will get some pretty good photos. I think uh, a couple, few years down the line and shit like that. Okay, She's yeah. gonna be fresh. Yeah. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, so you're not gonna be screaming at her. No, no bullshit. No, no, no way. Thank you. Wow. Fine. Oh no, the rest of the way. That's okay. Bring some bitches That's to okay. the crib. <laughs>